gentlemen, it is Thursday. It is the 13th of August and I am really grateful that you're watching and I'd really um, hope that you can like this video or subscribe or share it and I would be most grateful. Donald Trump uh, came out and said that he wants to cut the tax, uh, the corporate tax rate from down to 15%. It's currently at 21%, but only if he wins the White House and the Senate and Congress turn Republican. And that's what he wants to do. And on the contrary, Biden and Harris says that they want to raise the corporate tax rate up to 28% if they win the election. A lot of back and forth going on here. We'll see what happens. All right, Amazon cuts more than 1,200 delivery contract jobs today. You know, about a year ago, Amazon said, you know, start your own business, become our driver. They're going to, you know, have all these... DSP, which are delivery service providers, and you can work for us. Well, a whole bunch of people went out and did that. And today they said, well, it's not really working out for us, so we're going to let you all go. So 1,200 drivers lost their jobs. Maybe about a dozen companies all over the country. It's crazy. Speaking of uh, all over the country, Uber, I guess, has been ordered in California to treat all its drivers like employees. So Uber's going to pull out of California now potentially, because they don't want to treat their drivers as employees. They want to treat them as contractors. They want to treat them like shit is what they want to do. Went to a mall today. You'll see some photos or some video footage of the wilted society, as I like to say. No one's shopping. People are going through the mall, you know, to get some air conditioning as they, you know, go across a few streets. But other than that, pretty empty a lot of stores are closed and these are not like small stores these are you know big ritzy expensive stores anyway more on that you can see it behind me bankruptcies and unpaid rents for mall landlords cost hundreds of million dollars in quarter two yep while we were there i think it was lord and taylor's closing down Hey, the unemployment numbers came out today. 963,000 workers lost their jobs. They're all in a celebratory mood. Woo hoo hoo. What for? If you include workers that aren't included in the unemployment numbers, it's over a million. 21 straight weeks of over a million people losing their jobs. The real unemployment numbers, people who just got tired of looking for a job, people who are still holding out that their former career. And the White House says most of the jobs will like the losses will be temporary. See that? Temporary losses. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be temporary. A lot of these jobs are not coming back. We went into Boston again today. It's still a ghost town. People are not in the offices. The restaurants there are barely hanging on. Thank you, PPP. I'm sure they're saying, you know, you, you the payment protection plan. I'm sure it helped pay their high rents to pay some staff, but they're not going to make it. No city in America can make it. No city can do it. The cities are devastated. You can see apartments for rent. This is moving time for colleges in Boston. Boston's usually hustling and bustling and their apartments, you know, one moves out, one comes in. They're not even coming back to school. I mean, <clears throat> the whole city is a ghost town. That's really pathetic. But anyway, and these jobs, Bloomberg, U.S. economic hole remains deep despite the new milestone. Woohoo! big milestone under a million and I guess it is something to celebrate but like I said I don't believe what it says maybe it says they're in a favorable direction yeah but you still have it says I hate to tell you but and there's still widespread business closures and bankruptcies I mean let's not forget that and there's illness all over this country I mean let's not forget that I mean people need to stay home People need to social distance and wear that mask. I mean, and now we have schools opening and, and schools not opening and hybrids and virtual learning and opening and then closing again. And what are you going to do and how is that conducive for any working parent to have a job? I feel sorry for you all. I really do. If you have a job, if you have kids and you have to, an essential worker and you have to work outside the home, I don't know how you're going to do it. 
the resurgence of the virus is taking a toll on Britain's economy. Britain is in really bad shape. Their economy contracted 20% in quarter two. They're really having a hard time. They, they want to cut aid and, and cut all the financial programs to all their citizens because they need to get going too. And it's just like our economy. Nothing is moving along like it's supposed to. It's like a train stuck in the train station. It's not getting to its destination. Here's this one. Australia's Titanic economy is sinking. Australia hasn't hit an iceberg in 30 years. Their economy has been good, good, good. They're hitting the iceberg. You know what they're hitting the iceberg? Because they did a poll. 68% of people would rather focus on the pandemic than on the economy. Their, their president's done a really good job. Their prime minister's done a really good job in curbing this and author authoritarian lockdowns and everything. But their economy is suffering. They're paying people like 90% of the wages, the government. They're going into a hole too. Their GDP is down and Australia has always been in good shape. I was reading another article about Australia. They rely almost solely on imports and the supply chain is breaking down. Now, you don't see this, you know, when even the iceberg, you see just a little tip of the iceberg. You don't see the gigantic, uh, you know, enormous iceberg that's under the water. It's the same thing with our debt. You know, we might see a little bit. We might be a little bit in debt. You know, you worry about your own car payment or mortgage or credit cards. You don't see the enormity of the debt in America or actually in the whole world. It's going to end up sinking all of us, just like the Titanic. Look at this. In Europe, Millions of jobless are falling through the cracks. See that? Millions of jobless are falling through the cracks. You know what? Millions of Americans are falling through the cracks, too. Most of these people that they talk about in the article are gig workers. You know, caterers and, you know, musicians and artists and people who do things. You know, this one guy was saying he would make 4000 euros a month. He would 5 a.m. set up breakfast. At dinner time he'd be setting up for dinner and he'd be here and there and every day the you know routine would go and he had a great catering business going. Oh it's all dissolved. He has to sell his apartment for you know because he can't afford the thousand euros a month that it costs to live there. Because he's um, at the end of August the European or the French stimulus that they were giving to gig workers is coming to an end and he realizes he can't get it he's just going to be on a basic simple kind of social security where he's going to get 600 euros a month i mean governments are trying but again governments are having their own problems governments are having their own deficits but yet the stock market surges it keeps going up 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 i mean today it was down 80 points but it's still over 27 thousand points for goodness sake even Warren Buffett doesn't trust it. And he thinks it's going to pop to live. And he doesn't know what he's going to do. So be careful, ladies and gentlemen. This whole thing is going to blow. It's just going to blow. And, and it's not going to just blow here. It's going to be a global, a global ex explosion like we've never seen before. Yeah. I wonder where it's going to start. All right, I'll have a lovely Thursday. Keep the faith. Prepare. Like this video. Subscribe to the video. Love when people subscribe. It's always appreciated. Thanks for watching.